Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jeff Grant. Today we're looking at some college basketball. The game we're covering here is the Vanderbilt Commodores going up against the Kentucky Wildcats. What's going on Jeff? How you doing man? Doing fantastic Dax and I always love handicapping a game that has very similar teams going against each other. Some will be blinded by the fact that Kentucky is the number one team obviously but both of these teams are two of the more experienced ones in the country. Of course we're midway through the season so they've gained experience moving up to this point. Yeah, but it's been tough for Vanderbilt, man. I mean, they've gone 0-3 straight up and against the spread over the course of their last three SEC games. So, Jeff, in your opinion, man, I mean, what needs to happen for the Commodores to turn things around in conference play? Just stay to the plan. The Commodores don't need to change much. Yeah, 0-3 straight up and against the spread is not going to really instill much confidence in a young locker room. But I mentioned that they don't have much experience coming into the season. In terms of a national perspective, they were 348th in the country. There's about 360 Division I college basketball teams. So they're 348th in terms of experience. But what's important when handicapping this matchup, Kentucky was actually just two spots higher at 346. Those three losses have come by small margins except the road loss at Arkansas. That game was competitive until basically the eight-minute mark of the second half, that's normally when Arkansas's press really wears down opponents. So that's not a very bad loss. But when you look at the Commodores coming into this one, 8-17 and 17 all time against top-ranked teams, including an 0-7 mark versus Kentucky in Lexington when the Wildcats have that number one spot. Well, yeah, you mentioned the position uh, between the Commodores and the Wildcats in this case, but I mean... Kentucky's actually dominated their last two opponents after playing a couple of overtime games. Now, I know that Kentucky's a really good team, man, but just how good are the uh, top-ranked Wildcats this year? Perhaps the best defensive team that's ever played in the, in the last 20 years. Um, that's basically what I've been hearing from a lot of college basketball experts that work in the national media, that they haven't seen as good a defensive team in a long time than the Wildcats possess this year under head coach John Calipari, of course. He's kind of figured out how to use these young players together. You mentioned 2-0 and straight up and against the spread the last two games. More importantly, both went under the total. So that defense is now cranked up once again. Just how dominant have they been? They've trailed in only 98 minutes of 695 total minutes during the 2014-15 campaign. And this team is going to be nearly untouchable if they continue to shoot 44.2% from beyond the arc, something they've done in their last seven contests. All right, man. So should we be looking at that trend and sticking to the under in this game, or should we just go straight up for the Wildcats? You know what? I'm actually going to take the road underdog here because Vanderbilt, yeah, they're light on experience. So is Kentucky. But the more important thing to look at the matchup is the fact that size-wise, Vanderbilt's front line is only an inch smaller than Kentucky. That's what the Wildcats main edge over most opponents in the country is the fact that they have just more size than anyone else. That's not the case here. And Vanderbilt's been starting three freshman guards the entire season, basically. So that group's gained experience and they can knock down some shots. If we've seen anything of Kentucky not covering games is the fact that teams have been able to hit some shots from the perimeter if they're skilled enough. Vanderbilt has a very skilled freshman class that came in, obviously, because they're starting three of them. So I think they're dangerous here. The underdog 5-0-1 against the spread the last six meetings. So I'm going to grab the 22 points with Vanderbilt against Kentucky. All right, Jeff. Thanks for the pick, man, and all the valuable insights. And we'll talk some more college hoops again tomorrow. Thank you. No problem. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.